hello everyone in this video we will learn about shortest job for scheduling algorithm so first of all what is selection criteria or we can say what should be the criteria to select a new process to be executed the process that requires the shortest time to complete its execution is served as first or we can say that the process that requires minimum time or less time to complete its execution is served as first then after decision mode what should be the decision mode it's a non preemptive means once a process is selected for the execution the process will run until either it is blocked for an io event or some other event or it is terminated means no any other process or even operating system can forcefully stop that process from the execution means the process itself will voluntarily release that processor to allocate to some other process implementation it simply by fifo that is first in first out but all the processes in the queue are sorted in ascending order based on the required cpu burst time means each and every process are sorted based on their cpu burst time the process towards the head requires minimum time to complete its execution then after second process requires more than the first process then after third process requires more than first two process and so on now when the cpu becomes free a process from the first position in a queue is selected to run means processor is allocated to the first process once the processor becomes free now next move further to the example of shortest job first we will consider the same example we have already seen in first come first serve four process p0 to p3 arrival time 0 to 5 time required from 10 to 5 now first of all we will draw grand chart so initially at time 0 only one process arrived process p0 so first of all turn is given to process p0 so p0 is executing it's non preemptive means process will not be forcefully stopped by any other process or even operating system so here process p0 requires 10 millisecond to complete its execution so up to 10 millisecond process p0 execute at 10 second process p0 is completed so now at 10 second three process is arrived process p1 p2 and p3 again process p0 requires 6 millisecond process p2 requires 2 millisecond process p3 requires 4 millisecond so minimum time required to complete its execution is 2 that is by process p2 so next turn is process p2 it requires 2 millisecond so 10 plus 2 that is 12 now remaining two p1 and p3 p1 requires 6 millisecond p3 requires 4 so in between 6 and 4 4 is minimum so next turn is process p3 that requires 4 millisecond so process p3 12 plus 4 that is 16 only one process remaining process p1 so next last one is process p1 requires 6 millisecond so 16 plus 6 that is 22 all the process are completed this one is our grand chart now let us find out finish time again move from right hand side and towards left hand side so if we consider from here process p0 p1 p3 p2 and p0 p0 finish at 10 millisecond so it's 10 then after process p1 process p1 finish at 22 so here is 22 process p2 P1, P3, P2. Here is P2, so finish at 12 millisecond. So it's 12 millisecond. Then after process P3, P1, P3. So here is P3. Finish at 16. So it's 16. Then after find out turn around time. That is T1 minus T0. So for process P0, 10 minus 0. That is 0. 22 minus 1. That is 21. 12 minus 3. That is 9. 16 minus 5. That is 11 then after waiting time it's t at the dis turn around time minus delta t the dis burst time so for process p0 it's 
माइनस टेन जीरो फॉर प्रोसेस पी वन ट्वेंटी वन माइनस सिक्स दैट इज फिफ्टीन फॉर प्रोसेस पी टू नाइन माइनस टू दैट इज सेवन फॉर प्रोसेस पी थ्री इलेवन माइनस फोर दैट इज सेवन नाउ इफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट्स टू फाइंड आउट एवरेज टर्न अराउंड टाइम दैन इट इज सम ऑफ ऑल दीज वैल्यूज डिवाइडेड बाई नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेस दैट इज फोर सो इट्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवेंटी फाइव If he wants to find out average waiting time, then it is sum of all these values divided by number of process that is four. So it is seven point twenty five millisecond. Now next move further. What are the advantages of shortest job first? First advantage is less waiting time as compared to first come first serve because always the process that requires minimum time to execute is always served as first. So here. less waiting time as compared to first come first serve good response time for a short process means short process will get immediately processed to execute that's why very good response for a short process or a process that requires less time to execute will get response immediately then after what are the disadvantages of shortest job first first one is it is difficult to estimate the time required to complete its execution this algorithm is completely based on time required to complete execution but it is very difficult to find out the estimate time required to complete any process that's why sometime this algorithm may not work properly because we cannot identify the estimate time required to complete at any process that's why we cannot implement this algorithm properly then after starvation is possible for a long process or we can say long process may wait forever what does it mean some time some process may require very long time to complete its execution but as per this algorithm always the process that requires minimum time get chance to execute first that's why what happen sometimes the process required that requires more time or a long time to complete its execution will never get chance to execute or will never get processor to execute itself that's why the process will wait forever or infinite loop that's why this process will never get chance to execute this problem is known as starvation So these are the sum of the advantages and disadvantages of shortage of first thank you very much